Hi, this is Steve with Cardiac Cycling. Today we're going to focus on programming, specifically semi-synchro shift. Hang with us. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is hook our battery charger up to Junction Box A. We're going to use my bike because Junction Box A is down on the down tube. It's much easier to film, much easier to get to. First, open the door. And if you don't have enough fingernail to open that door, as many guys don't, and some girls, but mostly the guys, get yourself a really small screwdriver or maybe a, a pick of some sort. All right, so I gotta. Okay, there we go. And of course, the other end of the battery charger is going to be connected to your laptop computer. You're going to be using eTube app. I'm not going to go into that particular application. We've covered it in a previous video. I'll have a link for that in the description of this one. So if you need to review, you can go back there to do that. Then we open the E2 project, which I've already done ahead of time. We're going to select road because this is my road bike. And it checks to see if we have the latest version of E2 project. It does. Now we want to do a connection check. So we click connection check. Charging will stop. <clears throat> That's what it's supposed to do because we're using the battery charger for our programming connection. So you just use your battery charger. Save your money. That's right. Save your money. Okay, now it's going to recognize the unit. As you can see, it says right here. And just below the text recognizing unit, we have a green bar that runs its length, its course. And here we go. Everything's looking good. So we're going to click complete. So we're going to click on customize. And then we're going to go to shift mode settings. So everything there is fine. I don't want to mess with any of that. And what I want to change is for semi-synchro shift, the number of gears that are shifted. So right now it's going two gears when I shift um, up and two when I'm going down. And I want it to just do one. And that's what I've done. I'm not going to change my <clears throat> gear positions. That's fine in terms of when it does it. Um, everything here will self-adjust. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And it's done. I'm complete. And then click complete, click complete setup. Voila. We are now through. That's all for today. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to check the, click the subscribe button and click on the little bell, which will ensure that anytime there's a new video uploaded, you'll get notified. Hope to see you on the road. If you enjoy what you see on this channel, please click the subscribe button.